Now today's Through the Decades Retro Spectacle. Every decade or so, Americans take some artifact of their daily lives and supersize it. In the 80s, it was cassette players. In the 60s, it was pants legs. And in the 1950s, it was tail fins. This was the era of America's romance with the road. Before pollution, before the energy crisis, driving was a hugely popular leisure time activity. And cars were worshiped, almost to the point of fetishism. As the decade progressed, car bodies got longer and leaner, more aerodynamic, and then they sprouted fins. It started gently at first, a subtle flaring out from the frame. But as designers grew bolder, the fins grew bigger. By 1958, they were virtually piercing the sky. This is my new DeSoto. Isn't it beautiful? I think its styling is outstanding, and these new fins are really striking. DeSoto, Cadillac, Chevy, Chrysler, Dodge, Rambler. Every automaker joined the race to see whose fins could be sharper, sleeker, and more dramatic. More and more cars reflected the rocket ships that fueled the public's imagination. The space age had come down to earth. By the end of the decade, the fad seemed to have run its bizarre and beautiful course. But there would be one final addition to classic tail fin iconography in the 60s, courtesy of a certain caped crusader. 